Uh, so we used to think that everything was written in our genes. And then like 20 years ago, when the genome project was um, about to sequence all the genes in the human genome, we thought where we're going to find, we will find all the answers to all these questions, aging, disease, and everything else. However, what happened was that once we identified all the sequences, we got to connect actually genes with outcomes, well, but we couldn't explain why people age faster than others or why, you know, people who are uh, in their 50, they look like 10 years younger or vice versa. You know, some people look at the mirror and they say, oh my gosh, I look so old and I'm only 40, you know, things like that. So what is the reason why some people, you know, re, uh, age faster than others is in epigenetics. And epigenetics covers um, the mechanism that makes a good gene to get activated. That's what we want. And the bad genes to be suppressed or uh, silent. So there's a whole machinery inside of cells that makes sure that that happens in a good way. And as we age, we start losing that efficiency in those molecular mechanisms. So science now is identifying why that happens and what are the things we can do to prevent that happening too fast. This is incredible. 